Hey guys, it's Jessica and today I've got my 2017 Jammy Awards. Not to be confused with the Grammys. Um, but the, <laughs> these are my favorite products that I tried in the year 2017. These didn't necessarily come out in the year 2017. Um, but they're ones that just I feel like this year I've been loving. Um, and so I have pretty much something for every category. But if there's a category I didn't really feel that strongly about, like a certain product, then I just didn't mention it because I didn't want to kind of force it and mention something that I didn't really feel like I absolutely love. So all of the products I'm going to mention in this video are like high-end luxury kinds of products. Um, and I'm also doing a drugstore edition. So if that version is up, I will link it below. If not, stay tuned. It will be up soon. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So let's start with like, well, I'm just going to start in the order I do my face. How about that? So let's start with primer. Um, uh, I have two primers to mention and I love them both so much. They're very, very, very different. So the one I'm wearing today and probably one of the most splurgy items in this video is from YSL and it is their Touche Eclat Blur Primer. This was something that I had been initially turned off because I'd gotten like a trial size from something a long time ago and I saw that there was like gold glitter specks in it and I was like, mm, no thank you. But I heard a couple YouTubers talking about how they really, really liked it. I'm like, maybe I should give it another try. So I tried it, fell in love, bought the full size. This is like a very smooth kind of a primer. And what's weird about it, what I like about it is whether my skin is dry that day or normal, it always makes my skin look really nice. And most of you guys, if you've been watching my channel, you know how I feel about glitter on my face. I just hate it like when there's fallout from eyeshadow. I don't like glitter in my highlight. Like I don't like glitter on my face, just on my eyes. But for some reason, even though you can kind of see these gold specks when you initially put it on, like I use this today, you can't see it anymore. Like it doesn't stand out enough that it even matters. Frankly, I don't really know why they even put it in it. I feel like it's kind of like pointless, but regardless, this primer is just very smoothing, very blurring. It works even when I have tons of like moisturizer on underneath and I put this on top. That's what I did today. It still works beautifully. And I think I like it because there's so many of those kind of like silicone feeling kind of primers that I feel like I'm just kind of putting a mask on my face. This has a similar feeling, but it kind of melds with your skin and the foundation you put on top beautifully. Makes it last all day. I travel with it all the time. I have like a small size that I like literally just refill with this because it is a pump. I love it. Absolutely one of my favorite products I've ever splurged on ever. It's gonna be a long video by the way. You might want a cup of coffee or tea. I think my coffee is cold. The other primer I wanted to mention is from Cover FX. This was like the year of Cover FX for me because there's another product I'm gonna talk about. I feel like I'd never really tried any of their things, their stuff. And then this year I tried quite a bit. Now I think, like this was not sent to me in PR. This I bought with my own money, but another product I'm mentioning from them, they did send me in PR, but you guys know I'm always honest <laughs> whether I got it for free or not. Um, anyway, this is their calming primer. And it's just very lotion-like, moisturizing, but I feel like when my skin is really red, or you ever wake up in the morning and you look at your skin and you're like, Ugh. like it just looks rough. You know what I mean? Just literally the texture might look rough, your face might be red, you might have breakouts, or you might be feeling like there are breakouts and blemishes coming, you know that feeling. This is my answer to it, because I'll just put it all over and it feels like I'm putting a moisturizer on, but I'll put this on top of a regular moisturizer, because I'm genuinely using it as a primer, using this as a primer. And I feel like it gets rid of the redness really nicely after about a minute. It just smooths my skin. Now, is this a super pore filling smoothing primer? No, that's not really the intent behind this product, but I just feel like it calms my skin down and I just love it. And this is almost gone. I feel like I'm so close to finishing this up. So highly recommend if you have those kinds of mornings. Alrighty, so let's talk about foundation, shall we? Um, my favorite, probably no surprise to many of you, is the It Cosmetic CC Cream. I consider this a foundation. I really don't know why they call it a CC Cream. I mean, CC stands for color correcting, so I guess, but I mean, it is a straight up medium to full coverage foundation, and that's how I view it. So if I'm looking to like go for a lighter look, this is not what I reach for, because it really does have nice full coverage. However, I do reach for this all the time, and I travel with this all the time, because it has SPF of 50, which is awesome crazy good coverage and it makes my skin look beautiful. Like it's, 
If I've got dry skin that day, which is most days, it, it just smooths over it so beautifully. And so in that way, I feel like it's more of like a nice formula. Uh, <laughs> um, and so you know, it does have a pump. When I was first seeing people talk about this years ago, I thought, ugh. Like, I don't want it to be a squeezy tube, but it actually is a pump, which is pretty cool. This one, I'm pretty close to finishing up, and I already have another one. <laughs> um, I wear it in the shade Light. I could probably get away with Fair, like, looking at my skin now. Um, but this still seems to work when I'm using it with a beauty blender. I just love it so much. Love, love, love. This is one of those things. Actually, really, I think every single product I'm mentioning in this video and the drugstore one, these are products that the second I run out, I will buy it again. That's how much I love them. So, love that. And then... The other one, this one gets mixed reviews on YouTube, and I freaking love it. It's from Givenchy, so again, crazy splurgy, but it's a it's their Photo Perfection Fluid Foundation with sunscreen. Um, I have it in the shade Perfect Vanilla. I have a couple shades, but this is definitely my shade right now. And it's a very light coverage. Maybe like light to medium, but never like even full medium. It really is more light. But I feel like when I'll put this on, especially with a really good primer, it just looks like I didn't try. Does that make sense? So it doesn't look like I've got a full coverage foundation on, because I don't. But it makes it look like, oh, my skin's just like this. You know what I mean? Which I freaking wish. But it just kind of mutes everything down just a little bit, just enough so that it looks like your face is just angelic. And I love this. Now, if you have oily skin, no, you won't like it at all. It's, I think, definitely geared towards more dry, maybe normal. Skin type, I think if you have oily, I think it's just going to move all around. But with this, um, like for my skin, I really, really like it. So I won't talk any more about it. It's got a fun little cap on it. All right, the next thing I usually do is concealer. I only have one concealer to mention. And I'm laughing because I watch so many of these kind of best of the year videos. I love this time of year. I love seeing what everyone's kind of holy grail makeup items are. And so many people mention like Tarte Shape Tape, things like that. And I'm like, no, it really, you guys know, it really, I, it's all right. I'll use it, I'll use it up, that's about it. My favorite is the Bobbi Brown Corrector. Now, this is a true concealer in the sense, in the, in the meaning of the word concealer. It really does conceal dark circles. So I used it today, I have it in the shade Light Bisque, they have a bunch of shades. Um, and you just apply it with your finger just to that area, it gets rid of dark circles, it melts into my skin like instantly I can use a blender I can use my finger I can use a brush it doesn't matter how I blend it out and often I do travel with this pretty much every single time I travel and um, you don't need anything else with it you don't need another concealer now I am wearing another one which is one of the drugstore ones I'll mention in the other video um, just because I wanted to wear as many of these products as I possibly could so you guys could see them on but this is absolutely my favorite concealer of all time I will buy it again when I run out and I think the reason I like Light Bisque is because it is kind of a salmon, light, light, light salmon tone. So it does a great job if you have like purplish dark circles like I do. I love it. I also love, and this is one that I'd had for a while and I really didn't reach for. And I don't know why. And then finally, like I would say maybe the past five or six months, I started reaching for it and I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is so good. It's the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. People used to talk about this a lot, which is when I bought it. And it's smaller than like their like legitimate like powder. It's a lot smaller. It's a very, very white, very brightening, thin, 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 thin powder. And the way I apply it is just with a sponge, a wet sponge. I just dip it in and just kind of put it on as if I'm baking, even though I'm really not truly. Um, and then I just wipe away the excess and it, it does have like a sheen to it, like almost like very, very fine shimmer, but it looks so pretty. And I feel like because of that, the light reflects off it. Again, I'm wearing it today and it's just so, so pretty. Now, if you've got a very, very deep skin tone and you've tried this, let me know how it works because I do wonder me being as fair as I am, you know, a white, yeah, it's white, but I can wipe it away and I feel like it just looks brightening, but does it end up looking like way too white on deeper skin tones. I'm just curious, so let me know if you've tried that below. All right, let's talk about powders. I have like three to mention, but they're all very, very different. So the first one I just held up, this is my favorite loose powder. It's the Laura Mercier uh, Loose Setting Powder in Translucent. They do have one deeper shade. So they have two shade, one that's a little bit deeper to be more translucent on deeper skin tones, and then this one's a little bit lighter. Um, 
so this stuff, it's definitely got a cult following. And I'm the kind of person, and I know a lot of you guys are too, where I'm like, why? Like, it's just a loose powder. And so when I bought it a long time ago, and I think this is like the second one I've had of this, I, I would try it and be like, okay, like it's just a loose powder. I don't use that much loose powder. So I really didn't know what really makes a good loose powder. And so over the past year or two, I've tried a lot more loose, a lot more brands, you know, of loose powders. And I've kind of realized this really is a step above all of the rest. And I think it's because it, and I have it on today, like I really just put it here and on my nose and like right here. Anywhere for me that I have like pores and kind of just weirdness, I feel like it just smooths out the area. And what's weird is you'd think with the powder that it would like enhance um, in a bad way any dry skin or weird patches or pores. No, it like fills them in and smooths it out. And I'm, I'm falling back in love with loose powder just in those areas. I used to put it everywhere and I'm like, this is too much. You know, like the peach fuzz you have on your cheek, it would catch the light. But here and here, I am just like obsessed with it because it looks like a baby's bottom. I mean, can you tell? <laughs> and so I, I just, I love it. I'm gushing about it because I love it. And you know, there are other ones that have come close, like the Cover FX makes one that I think is really good. I actually really like the Too Faced Peach Perfect one. But this one is still the one that like, if I had to pick one period for the rest of my life, it would still be this one. I just think it looks just that little bit better. All right, so on to other powders. This Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Light. There was a lot of confusion about these when they first came out a couple years ago about, oh, are they highlighters? Like, what are they? But really, these were meant to be finishing powders. They were meant to be used all over your face if you'd like. Um, and then, of course, now they've come out with strobing versions that are definitely highlighters. You know, lots of glitter in a lot of them, and I'm not a big fan of all of those. But this one in dim light is perfect. I'll throw it all over my face. I used it on my face basically everywhere but the center. So I have it all on the outer rim of my face. And it just gives this like candlelight glow to your skin. If you've never tried something like this, you've got to because you, especially if you're someone that you don't really like powder, you'll like this powder. Because I, again, being a dry skin gal, didn't really like powder. I'm like, why would I want to put that all over my face? I used to do that when I was younger and then I'd see pictures and be like, oh my gosh, like I was 17 and I looked way older because there's just powder, you know? But this stuff doesn't look like powder. It looks like this glowy, but not glittery, not shimmery. There's not a single speck of shimmer in this that I've ever seen. And again, I think this might be like the second one of these I've had. Um, it's just gorgeous. Candle Glow, that is the best way to say it. So I just love it so, so much. Um, and then I also have the It Cosmetic Celebration Foundation Illumination Powder Foundation. I have it in the shade Fair. Um, this is the second or third one of these I've owned, I think. I love it so much. This is a newly repurchased one. I've already used it quite a bit in the past few weeks. Um, this is Full Full Coverage Powder Foundation. So if you love powder foundation and you haven't tried this, you've got to try it. Again, if you have oily skin, you won't like it. It has that illuminating quality to it. Um, but for me, what I'll do is I'll grab either a brush or a sponge and just kind of dip it in and put it on, especially like if it's like the second half of the day and I just need to kind of touch up my face, maybe my nose has some redness peeking through. I'll grab a sponge with this and just put it on my nose and it looks freaking flawless. It's the craziest thing. I've never found a powder foundation that worked as well as this that I have loved as much as this and it's worth the price tag every single time. I am legitimately drinking cold coffee right now. And I drink it black. I used to get like, <laughs> I have like really weak enamel. And so I remember, <laughs> tangent alert by the way, I remember going to the dentist a few years ago and the dental hygienist was like, um, so looking through your history, you really do have a lot of cavities. And I'm like, you know, I don't know. I floss pretty often. I brush my teeth morning and night. You know, I don't brush in the middle of the day. And she's like, well, you know, you don't necessarily have to do that. That's not necessarily what would cause it. I'm like, well, she's like, do you like eat a lot of sweets? I'm like, not really. I mean, I don't think any more than like normal people do. And then she hit the nail on the head. She was like, do you drink coffee? I'm like, yes. And she's like, do you put creamer in it? I'm like, yes. And she was like, do you drink it throughout the day? I'm like, yes. <laughs> she was like, it's just literally all day long eating away at your teeth. 
So I literally just kind of cut out creamer completely and got really used to black coffee. Now I really like black coffee and, um, and I'll get like some flavored black coffee and stuff like that. It's not like super flavored, but you know, um, and it's really helped. I've had far less cavities, although I feel like I can like feel one coming in. I'm like <laughs> my poor teeth. Anyway, how did I get on that tangent? Oh, so I'm drinking black coffee cold. It's just like, I feel like it's like, I remember being a kid and my dad having like black coffee and it'd still be cold. And he's like, Jess, will you go heat this up? I'm like, Ugh, all right, dad. <laughs> anyway, okay. Focus, focus, focus. So powders are done. Let's just talk. I have one brow product. That's it. One that stood out from this year high end. I have a couple when we get to the drugstore. One high end. This is from Pretty Vulgar and it is their Arch eyebrow pencil. Is it called Arch? No, I think I'm thinking of the Hourglass one. It's just their eyebrow pencil. I have it in the shade Quick Wit. Um, you know, it's, I, it's what I use on my brows today. Frankly, it's what I've been using for the past like four months, like exclusively. I've not used anything else. Um, I just really like it. Now, if you don't like like a thicker brow pencil, like this has kind of that triangular shape and it's thicker, you won't like it. But for me, I just go do 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 and then I turn it sideways to kind of do the tail. That's it. I brush it through with the spoolie. Do I think this is like the most special brow pencil in the world? No, the Hourglass one I've tried is honestly exactly the same. The Anastasia one is exactly the same. They're all kind of the same and they're also kind of the same price point. So I really, really like this, but when I run out, do I think I'm gonna run out and buy it? I will if I don't feel like I can find a good shade match and other stuff because I think the formula is really good, but I don't think it's like life changing. And so I, I almost hesitated to mention a brow product at all, but I figure, you know, this is what I've been using and I do really like it. So I figure just to let you know, let's do the rest of the face first and then we'll get to eye shadow palettes and eyes and lips. Okay. So, okay. 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 So bronzer, this is the NARS sun. Uh, it's like their sun washed diffused bronzer in Laguna. So I'd had regular Laguna for a very, very long time and I really, really liked it, but it did have kind of like a shimmer to it. And I'm like, mm. this does not. And it's a lot more like the name would kind of indicate diffused look. And I love that. Again, if you've got light skin, this is really, really nice. I think they do have a lighter shade, but I was like, I feel like Laguna is still good. Like it's, it's a good shade. So it's funny because I'll put it on and sometimes I'm like, oh, I can't see it. And then I'll put a little more on. I'm like, there it is. It's perfect. So I love that you can't really go overboard with this, which I really, really appreciate. Now it's not what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a drugstore one, but frankly, it looks just about the same as this drugstore one does. Just very kind of a lighter bronze look and I love it. All right. Um, so let's talk about blush. I have two blushes to mention. One is from Hourglass. I clearly really like their formula of like powders. Very, it's a very, very thin powder. It's weird. Um, this is their ambient lighting blush in mood exposure. Again, this is one that if you're deeper than me, you won't like this. So I guess for this, I would recommend really their whole line. They do have some that have glitter in it. I don't love those. Um, I have one that's called Euphoric Fusion that is really pretty, very berry-like that would look gorgeous on deeper skin tones. So I, I'll link that one below as well. But this is the one I love. It's, like I said, almost looks like whitish. There we go. The swatch kind of shows the true color of it though. And it's just one of those things that I can never put too much on. It never looks unnatural or weird or anything. And it lasts all day. So absolutely adore this color. And then the other formula of blush that I'm really liking is the Becca Mineral Blushes. This is in the shade Flower Child. And I'm finding myself reaching for this all the time. It's a right there, kind of a brighter pink. I actually just ordered two more of their mineral blushes because I just loved this one so much and I was like, oh my gosh, forget it. I just want them. Actually, it was on Holt Look and so they were 50% off and I was like, oh my gosh. So I'll link Holt, Holt Look below. It's like a flash sale site. So like Becca will be on there for like three days and there's just all kinds of products for half off. Anyway, um, and I've even checked batch codes on the items and I've never gotten old items from them. Nothing. It's I don't know how they do it at such a discount. Anyway, um, I love it. So I ordered two more. I can't wait till they come. But those also last all day. They're just like beautiful on the cheeks. They look, they can get, you know, you do have to be a little more careful. I do think that these colors are a lot more like obvious. So you have to be a little bit more careful, but I just love them. Highlight, oh my gosh. Okay, I have three and they're all, again, very, very different highlighters. So probably my favorite of the whole year is this Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. 
Again, this is like a candlelight glow, but with like a genuine glow to it because it is meant to be not necessarily an all over face powder, but more in the highlighted target areas, highlight targeted areas, you know what I mean? Um, so it's, oh my gosh, I just love it. It's not glittery at all, but it's got this shimmer to it that it just in any light looks beautiful. I feel like it doesn't make me look older than I am. It doesn't make me look younger than I, well, no, that sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> Um, it's just beautiful on every skin and so and by every I mean mine but I feel like so many highlighters I'll try and I know you guys are probably the same way like I'll put highlighters here and be like oh my gosh like I've got crow's feet going into it so if you're any older than me or you have the same kinds of issues it's like well I don't want a highlighter emphasize that I'm aging you know what I mean so this does not do that to me and I love it so much now I do have a drugstore version I'm going to briefly mention right now just because it's worth mentioning. Um, it'll also be in my drugstore one, but it's the Essence Pure Nude. This is like under $5. This is like $30 something dollars, I'm sure. And they are very, very similar. So love this stuff. I'll just go crazy with it just all in this region here. Well, like here, 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 here. I mean, you can put it anywhere. It never looks bad. It's so beautiful. So for a more like babam highlight, this is this was new to me this year. My friend Laura told me about it, and it's so beautiful. It's from Pure, and again, like Pure is one of those things that I've tried things off and on, and I've liked some things a lot, and I've really not liked some things a lot, you know. Um, so it's very hit or miss. But this is their illuminating powder and afterglow. It's right there, and it's just this like white gold highlighter and there's something about it. I'm wearing it today right here. There's something about it that just always catches the light so beautifully. This is one though that I do like to target. I don't like to just go crazy like I would with this. I can be really careless. With this, no. It's one of those highlights you really need to be pinpointing where you want it. So one of my favorite ways to apply highlighters like this is with like a fluffy eyeshadow brush because those are really small but they're big enough so you can really get the areas you want without going too far outside the lines. Love this stuff. Totally took me by surprise. And then the other highlighter I wanted to mention is from RMS Beauty, which again was new to me this year. I now have two of these, but this is like their original kind of a cream highlight and it's called Living Luminizer. And I'd heard about it like in a magazine, like a bunch of celebs were wearing it. Um, and it, it is truly a cream highlight, but it's not, it's almost oily in a way. Not in a way that it's going to move your makeup underneath around, but in a, I don't know how else to describe it kind of a way. It does feel kind of oily. It's not like a cream to powder. Does that make sense? It does. It's not a cream to powder. So what I'll usually do to apply it is either grab the tip of my sponge or just my finger and I'll just tap it in those areas. And it's so freaking pretty. This is even pretty just on straight up bare skin or just on BB cream. It's pretty on full coverage looks. It's pretty on like no makeup makeup looks. It's just pretty all around. You can put it on the tip of your nose, wherever you want. And you could even put it to make like glossy lids. Now I've never done it with this. I've tried like glossy lids before and they always just feel like sticky and like I can't close my eyes all the way. It's just weird. Um, this is not sticky though, so it could work. Sorry, if you hear noises, Tyler's working on the bathroom floor. I hope he doesn't do it the whole time. I'm excited about the floor though. Anyway, so I really like this stuff. I also have one called Master Mixer that's like more of a kind of champagne-y gold kind of a color, if maybe that would more suit your skin tone, because of course this is like white, you know? Um, and then they have another one called their Magic Luminizer that I want to get my hands on soon. Very intrigued to try that one. All right, so let's move on to eyes. <laughs> it's all so fun. Um, so my favorite high-end primer is from MAC, which MAC is now sold at Ulta, um, which is exciting. Not like everything they sell, because that would be crazy, but a lot of their like popular products, and this is definitely on there. This is their Paint Pot in Soft Ochre. Again, depending on your skin tone, you would get a different shade, but if you're anywhere near mine, this is more of a yellow-based kind of beige color, and I just like it. It's so quick to just dip my finger in, pat it on. It covers anything I need to cover. It holds on to shadow really well. I mean, I have no complaints about it. I've repurchased this many, many times. Um, I know some people get freaked out by the pot. I just don't really care. I figure I use it up quickly enough that it, I don't know, I just don't really worry about it. 
Um, so that is wonderful. So let's talk about palettes. I have two palettes and then I have a story about one of these freaking palettes. As I was looking at my palette drawer today, I thought I have to mention that one. I really genuinely love it. It's the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. And I feel like Too Faced is one of those brands that, you know, when you hear YouTubers talk about them, you're like, yeah, yeah, like you got it sent to you for free. Um, and they're just so, the brand is so out there on social media that I don't know. Like, I always feel like even when I'm watching Too Faced reviews, I'm like, I take it with a grain of salt, but I know myself too. And I know I'm a YouTuber that gets Too Faced in PR. So I did get this in PR, um, oh my gosh, a year, over a year ago now. And, um, smells so good. If you don't like peaches, you won't like it. And I know some people don't. <laughs> um, whew. so this I used way more than I ever thought I would ever because there's some colors I'm like no no thanks like this darker glittery purple I'm like no and I don't use it the green I really don't use the black I use off and on um but it's these other colors like these colors over here they're shimmers like this shade luscious is my absolute favorite it's kind of a taupey not even taupey I guess it's more of like a rose gold um I even like just peachy I'll put that all over my lid sometimes when I'm feeling pink um Peaches and Cream is just a great matte one. We've got some great uh, like light browns. I love this palette so, so much. So I was kind of surprised, like I said, and sometimes Too Faced palettes I don't like, but like the Chocolate Ball pal palettes are huge hits for me. I love those, and this one I think I like even better than those. Now, another one I almost didn't mention because it was new to me, like very new, but I thought, you know what? I have not felt this strongly about a palette it, honestly all year like I don't even know that I felt this strongly about this one this palette actually subscribers sent to me to my PO box and it was so unexpected and so incredibly sweet because it was one that I just had my eyes on and I talked about I guess in a video or two and um, it's the Violet Voss palette now Violet Voss is now sold at Sephora which is why it was kind of on my radar because I usually like I didn't buy any Violet Voss before that um, and it's their Holy Grail palette. So the story of this palette is, other than that, this morning, well, okay, it was like afternoon, when I was getting ready, um, and I ha I'm wearing this palette exclusively on my eyes, um, I had coffee near it. Actually, it's this very same freaking cup that I'm drinking out of now, except for I knocked it over and it dumped literally on top of the palette. I couldn't believe, I'm like, no, and Tyler's thinking there's something like very seriously wrong. I'm like, no, it's fine, it's just my palette. And, it's just, it's no big deal except for I was about to get ready with it and it's my favorite and I was gonna mention it and now I feel like I shouldn't and you know, like all these things. So we're both kind of dabbing it and drying it off and then I'm getting it in the carpet. So I literally have the carpet cleaner in the room right now with me. So I'm cleaning the freaking carpet. Like all these things, I'm like, man. And anyway, turns out it was fine. I like, I, and I literally used it today. I went through every single shadow and kind of finger swatched it just to see like, is everything okay? Everything was fine. It was really weird. Anyway, this palette is the perfect palette, I've realized for me. It's got everything I want. Um, it's got tons of transition shades. Like, this one is literally called Transition. It's what I'm using in my crease today. Um, I have Ploof on my lid. Uh, I have Crystal and Thanks a Latte on my brow bone. I think I put Are You Kitten Me in my crease a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Um, but you can use, you can do darker looks with this, lighter looks. But for me, since I typically do looks like what I'm wearing today, most days, that's why I love it because I can do that. And so we're, I'm packing very, very soon. Like I might already be there when you're seeing this video, um, for our trip to Disney. It's a Disney cruise as well. We're doing all kinds of stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is going to be the palette I bring because I freaking love it. I wish it were smaller, but I freaking love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it more than my naked palettes. Love it more. It is amazing. So I don't care that it's new to me. I still had to mention it. It blends like a dream. It's pigmented. Um, there's not like, there's not like crazy fallout. Like I've got like a Natasha Denona palette, and I have the um, what's the other brand? Huda Beauty palette. Fallout City on so many of those. None with this palette. I freaking love it. Oh my gosh. All right. So singular eye products that I was so blown away by this year that I felt were worth mentioning are first off these milk makeup pigments. Um, I'm not a big like cream shadow fan. Like I'll use them from time. I don't not like them, but I very rarely reach for them, but these blew me away. And so if you are a fan of those, I, these are my two favorite shades after party and gig after party is a little bit more 
pinky toned. Um, I mean, you, it's just a squeezy tube and you know, you can apply it with your finger. You could probably apply it with a brush. Um, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So that one's after party. And then Gig is a little bit more bronzy than that, not quite as pink. Um, these are gonna last you freaking forever. I mean, these are, you're never gonna run out. It's a big old tube of this stuff and you need the tiniest bit. So if you found a shade you love, because they have tons, it's worth buying one. Do you need like four of these? No, absolutely not. Like even me, I think they sent these me in PR and I got rid of most of them and only kept a couple because I'm like, I'm not gonna use these. But find a shade you love and invest. It's so, so worth it and so beautiful. And they once they dry, they are there all day. They are not moving. Um, another similar product are these Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. And I saw these like on sale on Sephora's website for like half off, like in the sales section. I'm like, are they discontinuing? Please don't be discontinuing them. Um, I don't know that they are, but they're like these weird goopy, they look like pudding, little eye gloss kind of things. Similar um, idea uh, and really a similar look. So this is the shade icing right there. If it grosses you out to put your finger in this kind of a thing, I mean, you could always use a little tiny spatula or something else. Um, or you could get the milk ones because it's a little less, you know, it's a little more hygienic maybe. Um, but this one is in the shade Moonshine. These are clearly my two favorites. I've talked about them in another video too. Um, this one's got glitter in it, but the glitter does a good job of staying suspended in the liquid, so I don't feel like I get much fallout. So that's Moonshine there. Um, absolutely beautiful. Again, once these are on and dry, they're not moving at all. I will probably have a hard time getting these swatches off, so I might take them off right now. <laughs> um, but gorgeous, gorgeous. Like I said, I think those glazing ones are like $24, and I saw them for $12 on Sephora's website like after Christmas, so I was like, I don't know if that's forever. I don't know if they're discontinuing them, but y'all better snatch them up. <laughs> um, okay, so the next... Thing. Oh, 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 liner. I only have one liner to mention. It's this Hourglass 1.5 millimeter. Again, I've even asked you guys, like, are there any drugstore dupes for this? It's such a teeny tiny retractable liner, but it's incredibly creamy. It's not dry. It's not crumbly. You don't have to tug at your eye. I could literally look at you with my eye open and just do that, like, and it would tight line my eye flawlessly. Amazing. However, it's expensive. I run out of it really quickly. I think, well, I think it's like $18 for one of these. So I bought the three pack finally because I'm like, I'm running, I'm flying through these. So you can buy a three pack as well, but I don't think it's a discount at all. I think it's like the same price. It's just more convenient if you know you love them and you run through them. Um, I just love it. I've not found a drugstore dupe, but like liquid liner wise, I didn't find anything this year that I felt that strongly about because I have a drugstore version that really genuinely is my favorite. So I didn't feel like kind of forcing it. And same with gel liner. I didn't really find any that I liked high end. Um, my favorite high-end mascara is the It Cosmetic Superhero. However, it's such a wet formula, and when you first open it, it's flawless, like from the moment you open it. Like, I would say a month and a half, two months. But after that, like, it's really goopy, and like, I used it today, and I had to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise to kind of comb through it, which is funny, because that's not really a super defining mascara either, but it was more so than this, because it was just getting so wet and clumpy and weird. Um, so I think I just need to replace this one, but I love this stuff. Crazy volume, holds a curl, works this day you open it, which I think is a big deal for me. And I just really, really, really like it. Let's talk lips. Um, I only have three products. I am a butthead when it comes to makeup. <laughs> Duh. Lips, because I'm picky. Like I don't really like liquid lipsticks anymore. I Although, do I mention any even in the drugstore? No. I do mention one in the drugstore because I did find one I really, really like. But I'm kind of over that. And so, and then I was like lip liners. I really didn't have any high end that I felt that strongly about. So I'm just going to genuinely mention what I've been loving this year. First, the Kopari Lip Love. I've only had now, I don't know, what, a couple months. It was accidentally sent to me um, and I fell in love with it. And so now I'm definitely going to repurchase. It's their Coconut Lip Love and it freaking... It smells like actual coconut, not like fake, whatever. It smells like actual coconuts. And every morning when I put it on, I'm like, oh my gosh, like every morning. I love it so much. Do I think it's like doing amazing things for our lips? I really don't know. Like, I feel like my lips haven't been super chapped, so I guess that's a good sign. But like I use different lip things at night, you know what I mean? Different lip masks and stuff. So 
I don't know what's to blame for my lips being in pretty good health, but I do love this and I do use it every morning. And I will repurchase it when I run out. So my favorite lipstick of the year, you're gonna be surprised, it's not the Marc Jacobs, even though I love that. But I feel like I've talked it to death. This is the NARS Audacious Lipstick. I have it in the shade Raquel. I used to have another one and it just like disappeared. I feel like someone took it. Um, I love it. This formula is so incredibly creamy. Um, this is probably creamier than the Marc Jacobs one to be quite candid. Um, but they're both incredibly pigmented. Um, they're just so creamy and I love applying them. I always feel like I have a good lip look when I use these. Um, obviously it is a standard kind of a lipstick so you are going to need to reapply. There is going to be transfer. I don't mind that. If I'm wearing lipstick I kind of am anticipating needing to check up on it from time to time, reapply, etc. So love that and I love the sleek black packaging. It's magnetic. I love it. The lip gloss that's high end, high end, it's the Sephora brand. I still consider that high end because some of their products are still expensive. Um, but this is their mm -hmm, Outrageous Plump Effect and it's in the shade 02. Maybe the shade is outrageous? I don't know. Um, but either way, it's in the shade 02. It's a very kind of tingly, plumpy kind of a lip gloss. Does it actually plump? I don't know. Um, I don't really need the plumping, but um, the color is just so, it's right there, just a nice, peachy nude. It doesn't completely change the color of your lips, but it just makes them look put together and nice. Maybe I'll put some on top of what I'm wearing now. Oh, I love it. It smells good. The, the Doe Put applicator is kind of interesting. It's more circular and I don't know. Um, I really, really like it. It's, it's comfortable. It smells it does have kind of a smell that might be off-putting to some, like, well, it's kind of like slightly sweet, slightly chemically, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Um, I don't necessarily like the smell, let me just say that. But once it's on, after like a minute, do I really notice the smell? No. Um, so, oh, I have one more thing to mention. How could I forget this? Um, this is my favorite setting spray. Oh my gosh, I love this setting spray. This is the Cover Effects Mattifying Setting Spray. Do I think it makes your skin look 100% like totally matte? No. But to me, that's not really why I use it, which I'm sure is weird because it's called mattifying setting spray. I like to put setting spray on, A, to hold on to my makeup for a long, long time throughout the day, but also just to kind of melt everything together. No matter what I'm using, whether I'm using a dewy one or a mattifying one or just a kind of middle of the road one. But this one does such a great job of, I feel like, you know, with some setting sprays, even mattifying ones, I feel like I'll still look really shiny here, even though I don't really have oily skin. But with this stuff, when I spray it on, it dries down and it really does, I feel it kind of soak up just a little bit of oil, but it still makes my stuff all look like it's melted together, my stuff. All my makeup and layers of nonsense that I have on my face. So I love it, the nozzle's great. I even like the simplified packaging. Um, wow, really fell in love with that this year. So those were all of my favorites from 2017 for the high-end kind of side of things, like I said, the drugstore side of things. That video will be up. If it's up, I'll link it. If it's not, stay tuned. I hope that you'll subscribe, and if you enjoyed this kind of a video, definitely give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!